Fear come by hearing. Faith come by hearing. Who are you hearing? Who is talking to you? What evil prophecy is making the whole house panic? My daughter that used to live with me in the house, one day I came home, she was in tears. She said, I read one book. And that book is a book on deliverance. They say if you have a mark, you are dead. If they have ever, if your father is a native doctor or chief, they have buried you. She said all kinds of things. She was in tears. I said, okay, let's summarize your problem. You only have two problems. You have graduated. You don't have work. Then number two, you are not married. That's the only two problems you have. I said, okay, let me solve one. I called a bank MD. I said, I have somebody here. I want, he said, we don't have space. I said, create. So they gave her a job in the bank. I said, I've solved one. So I came back one day. She took her bag. She likes to go to camp. Sometimes she can go to camp and spend seven days, three days. She carried her bag. I said, where are you going? He said, camp. I said, that's fine. What is the purpose of this camp? And he said, one man in our church said he wants to marry me. So I want to go to camp and pray if it's the will of God. When he mentioned his name, I said, call him now. Say yes. I said, in your heart, do you really want to go and pray? Or you want to go and fulfill all righteousness? I said, this tall man with vision ask you to, before you come from camp, he may change his mind. <laughs> Rise on your feet. <laughs> As I speak right now, she's in the U.S. She just had a baby. <laughs> Her third baby, you know, enjoying life. Sometimes we think it's our prayer and our effort. It's covenant. 